Chapter Twenty Nine of True Stories of Wonderful Deeds Stories for Little Folk. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ginger Cucolo. Sir Philip Sidney. When Elizabeth was Queen of England, it was a time of great deeds and great men. The Queen was brave and clever herself so she liked to have brave and clever people around her great soldiers and writers and statesmen went to her court and when brave seamen came back from their voyages to unknown lands far away they were invited by the queen to visit her and tell her of all the strange places and people they had seen in this elizabeth was wise for men did their best to show themselves worthy of her favors among all the great men at court none was more beloved than sir philip sidney he was called the darling of the court. At that time there was much trouble and many wars in some other countries, where people were fighting for the right to worship God in their own way. Philip Sidney heard of these things when he was a boy in his father's house, and his heart was stirred with pity. Later, when he was in France, a great number of people were cruelly killed because they would not pray in the way which the king ordered. Sidney never forgot the dreadful sights and sounds of that sad time, and when Queen Elizabeth sent an army to help the people of Holland, who were fighting for their freedom, he asked for leave to go with it. This was granted to him, and he was made one of the leaders. But alas, he went out to die. In one battle, a small band of the English bravely attacked a large army of their enemies. The horse which Sidney was riding was killed under him, and as he mounted another, he was shot in the leg, and his thigh bone was broken. The horse took fright and galloped away from the fight, but its wounded and bleeding rider held to his seat, and when he reached a place of safety was lifted from his horse and gently laid upon the ground. He was faint from loss of blood and in great pain, and his throat was parched with thirst. "'Bring me water,' said he to a friend. This was not easy to do, for there was not a stream near at hand, and in order to get to one it would be necessary to pass where the shot from the enemy's cannons was falling fast but his friend was brave and went through the danger then he found some water and brought it to him sidney eagerly held out his hand for the cup and as he was preparing to drink another poor wounded soldier was carried past this man was dying he could not speak but he looked with longing eyes at the water sir philip saw the look and taking the cup from his own lips passed it to the soldier saying thy need is greater than mine the poor man quenched his thirst and blessed him as he died Sir Philip lived on for a few weeks, growing weaker every day, but he never came back to his own land and the many friends who loved him. Sidney was great in many ways, very fair to see, very wise and good, and very clever and witty. He was one of the bravest fighters, one of the finest poets, and one of the best gentlemen who ever lived. He will always be remembered for his brave deeds and his wise sayings, but most of all do men bless his name for this act of kindness to his poor dying comrade. End of Sir Philip Sidney Recording by Ginger Cucolo